Well, in addition to funding bat coronavirus research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, we're now learning that Anthony Fauci conducted research on other animals too, dogs. Not just to study them, but to kill them. According to documents obtained by the White Coat Waste Project, last year, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, that's the place that Fauci runs and has for many years, paid 400 grand a year to run it, gave money to the University of Georgia to infect 28 beagles with parasites. They allowed the dogs to develop infections for months, and then they killed them. Kathy Guillermo is a senior VP at PETA, and we are happy to have her on tonight. Kathy, thanks so much for coming on. My pleasure. On. What's, you know, hurting dogs under any circumstances, I think, is deeply upsetting to most normal people, certainly to me. You could probably make a case, you know, if they're going to save your child's life, okay. It doesn't sound like this research was essential, was it? It wasn't essential. The most we'll probably see out of it is a published paper that will get a little status for the experimenter. But this is unfortunately the case with all experiments on animals. And this is why Pete is saying that the leadership at NIH, uh, Fauci and his boss, NIH Director Francis Collins, have to go. They continue to back this failed paradigm of animal experiments. And we know that the 60,000 dogs who are in laboratories now and the 110 million animals who will die by the end of this year in laboratories will fail to lead to anything to help humans 90% of the time. So you can just take 28 beagles because you have a research grant you don't have to prove that their deaths are necessary or going to improve human life dramatically. You just, because you have the grant, you just get to kill the beagles? That's exactly what's going on. NIH has a budget of $40 billion, and about half of that is going to animal experiments. Even though we know, and NIH has published itself, that 95% of new medications and new vaccines that were developed using animals fail in humans. So why are we throwing half of this budget away on animal experiments? There are better ways to do it. PETA's got a plan. We call it the research modernization deal. And it's a very common sense, straightforward way to get us out of this quagmire that has been in place for the last 70 years that NIH continues to support. I read that people like Fauci prefer beagles, be not because their physiology is different, but because they're more compliant and easy to please. Ah, oh, maybe emotional reading that. Is that true? Is that, it, is that true? Yes, it, it, it's absolutely true. We, we know of a breeding facility in Virginia that we have been trying to get closed down where they have 5,000 beagles in cages and they sell them to laboratories all across the world. And I, I think, you know, most people we know from surveys are opposed to the use of animals in experiments for any reason. But if everybody knew that they're an utter failure and that while we wait for cures for Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease right. and a plethora of other diseases, we're not spending our research dollars where they belong. And the 60,000 dogs in the laboratories in this country right at this moment are not going to lead to cures for human beings. They're choosing the dogs specifically because they're sweet and they want to please you. Yeah, that tells you a lot, That's right. a lot about them. Kathy, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.